On tap tonight, NBA playoff action continues. It's game two. Here's the captain. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Prince. Hartenstein is out there with Jones. And it's Pajemski in at the two spot. And Jackson Davis gets it to go. Nice effort taking the early lead. Here we go. Uh, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession. Gets the game started the right way. Now here's Jones. Pass to Prince. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Inside, marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Pass to Don, and that goes out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. Great energy on the deflection, and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Here is Don. From eight, and that one drops for him. What a great option he gives them on every possession. First quarter just over a minute played. Jones, no one around him, drills the three-pointer. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Tabuse. With the shot. Quick shot there, and it's off target. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that. It cost you another play. From deep, Prince gets it to go from beyond the arc. Bit of a picture-perfect start here to this game. They've connected on all three looks. The pass to Tabuse. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Pass to Pajemski. From the arc. Misses that one. He's over for one from the floor. And really, despite that miss, they had a solid start offensively. Here's the captain. Nice shot from the wing. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. The visitors with the ball. They are still stinging from the loss on Thursday. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity. There he goes! You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> That is not possible. What we just, is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. Here's Pajemski. Misses the step back jump shot. Gone five and six so far. And the field start out the game. Here's Todd. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Portis, who's checked in for Prince. So he gets them both. You can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter. Pass to Pajemski. And he can't stop the run as he misses. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm.
take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Take a look at Dot leading the league in points per game. Such a great play. One thirty-one left in the first. Here's McBride for three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Passes it to Boucher. He gets it in there. To Boucher, he's got six. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Graham. Defense is right there. Here's McBride. And the three off target. Gone seven and eight from the field to start the game. Very hot shooting. Pass to Tabuse. Fades back. That one drops for him. He's got eight. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Graham surveying the floor. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Graham with a textbook pull up that time. 26 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Tabuse. Eight points for him. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Shot clock at five. Wide open look. Green for two points. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. It's tipped. And it ends up out of bounds. No keep possession. Somehow they kept possession of the ball after that poor pass. Uh, they should be very thankful that wasn't a turnover. Here's Prince. No good on the last second attempt there. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Leading by six. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. They yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. Friends out there with Bobby Portis. Then there's Devontae Green. Then it's Bryant. And it's McBride in at the point guard position. Atop the key, Prince. Portis, the pass to McBride. Prince fires away from outside. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. Prince has gone one of three shooting so far. Here's the captain. Pass to Jackson Davis. They set the screen. Just okay. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Here's McBride. Graham from outside. Good on the three-point shot. Graham's got six. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Here's the captain to the wing right side. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. The shot by Tabuse, no good. Being at 50% in a decent group. Graham, the pass to Bryant. And Bryant throws it down. Good find by Graham there. Almost a sixth sense. 
Here's the captain, the pass to Don. From deep three-point territory, the rebound by McGrath. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Passes it to Graham. Down low. Here's Prince. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Substitution on the court. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here is Doc. Defended by Prince. Doc the pass to McCloud. Trains it from beyond the arc. McLeod's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That's his first foul. Martinstein's checked in for Thomas Bryant. Substitution for the away team. Number 55, Isaiah Hartenstein. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And the shot is good. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Right side, Portis over McLeod. Portis can't get it to go. That's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. The captain, no good. Gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. 151 left to play here in the half. Kicks it to Prince. Outside Portis. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. And that one is good from Hartenstein. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first half. To the middle. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Prince. Here are this postseason's dead-eye shooters. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. Take a look at Doc. Third in the NBA. He's someone that if you leave him alone, he's going to knock it down. He is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Prince. Well, Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbound. We've got 113 left in the second quarter. And it's blocked. And so out of bounds it goes. And they retain possession. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs. And every possession and defensive stop matters. And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. Prince is checked in for Bobby Portis. And that one ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Pass to Pajemski. Shot clock at six. That's the three fly. Prince misses. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure. He puts on the shoot. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. It's Prince on the wing, and it's a foul called on down. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. There's 47 seconds left now here in the second. Jones, no luck. Clock management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. And, Kevin, every opportunity counts. The captain, no good. Gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Here's Pachemski. His three-pointers off the mark. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Here's Hartenstein. Yeah. 
He lobs up the alley and pass. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Good on the bucket. And, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And so that brings the first half to a close. Up by eight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built. They're like a spoiled kid in the candy shop. Whatever they want on offense, they're getting it. And the defense is like the kid's parents. Too scared to tell the boy no. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting a glimpse into your past right now, Shaq. Feels oddly. They did what they needed to in game one. Got the win, kept home court advantage. Big fella, how important was that? Uh, it's nice, Ernie, but it means nothing. One loss here and they relinquish home court advantage. Gotta stay hungry. Yeah, they can't sit back and get comfortable. This is when the adjustments are made. They need to be sharp for this one. Momentum up for grabs. And that is a wrap. And we return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference semifinal. Doing well, they're at 45 percent. Just his first attempt. A shot, no good. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. They've got Hartenstein. Prince out there with Jones. And there's Pajemski in at the two guard. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but its importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And they pick up two. And it's seven points for Prince. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And he's good on the three ball. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. to Hartenstein. Outside, Jones. To the paint, a steal. To the left side wing. Here's Dot. Bangs home the trifecta. Dot's got six in the quarter. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. The coach is going to let them hear about it. The yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. And it's McLeod with the rebound. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Yeah, this looks like a three-game shootout with all the threes they're allowed. Gone one of three since starting the second half. Now the pass to Hartenstein. With the drive, but Jemski's shot is good. Assist from Isaiah Hartenstein. Gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Goes up with the strike. Yes, that goes in. Five points in the game. 
assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Outside, Jones. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. It's deflected. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that. Nailed from three-point land. And that's now 19 points for Doc. And everything is dropping for them. So I think second half run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing. But they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. To the inside, Hartenstein. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Now catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. And now let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. Take a look at Doc, fourth in the league and as consistent as they come. And of course the captain right behind him. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. Bobby Portis has checked in for Prince. 144 and left to play here in the third. Two points. That one goes. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Passes to the cap. To the left wing. Jacks up a three. Doc can't get it to go. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Pass to Pajemski. 102 left in the third quarter. Pass to Portis. And there's the foul. It'll go on the cap. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Number 21. 56 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Pajemski. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. Pajemski at the line for two. And so he makes both from the line gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this quarter. What a fantastic start to the half. Cloud pass to Tabuse. Here is Doc. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And the basket by McClung. Gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Here is Pajemski. Off target from three-point range. And with the success they've had the basketball. They're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. But how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. It's his first trip to the line. He misses the free throw. Taking two shots. And the second free throw, good. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third. And there's the pass to Doc. Sinks the three-pointer. Doc's got 25 points in the game. Guys, he's been a one-man air raid. Coming at him time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Delivering the blowout. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime the guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, 
great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And he double clutches and throws it down. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. In 47%, pretty solid. Thomas Bryan is out there with Bobby Portis. Then there's Prince. Then there's Devontae Green. And it's McBride in at the one spot. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. A foul call. The shot by Tabuse, no good. Here's McBride. And it's McLeod with the rebound. McLeod's got four rebounds now tonight. Knocked the pass to Tabuse. Passes it to Don. Six to shoot. And no good that time. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Takes the 13 footer. Graham with the bucket. That's a nimble play from Devontae. Just put the ball on a string, shook that defender away. Pass to Don. But Trey connects from three point range. Knox got 18 points just in the second half. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. McBride's shot is off. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Debuse passes to Hardy. For the three, buries the long-range jumper. Nine points for the waiter. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And for the balls out of bounds, Graham touched it last. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. And Prince comes to help, and stolen by Prince. Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. From 15 feet away, good, he hits the jump shot. The, the mid range jumper is a high percentage shot for him, and when he's got that much room, forget about it. Has to dock from deep, and again for three. And he is scorching hot right now. He could be on his way to setting a franchise postseason record with his shooting. He's caught fire at the right time for this team. Stepped up big in the postseason for him. Prince outside. They get the rebound. A three ball. Here's Hartenstein, and at last they get one to fall. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 158 left in the fourth quarter. Here is Doc, defended by Prince, and Doc gets it to go. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Inside, here's Hartenstein. Second chance effort. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Second personal foul, first team foul. At the line for the opening. First free throw is good. Two shots. And so he hits both. Gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. And the pass to Hardy. Basket good. Hardy's got his first basket of the night. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now. And if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. He pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. 
gone. Four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Passes to Hartenstein. Jones with it. Prince up top. Shoots over Hardy. Prince misses. And the lights out in this one. 77%. Shot from 12. And that one's good. Hardy. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. That can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Here's Pajemski. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line. That free throw, no good. Taking two shots. Good on the second free throw. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. Seven second difference, shot in the game clock. And here's Hardy. 17 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Five to shoot. Carries it from three-point range. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And so the home crowd treated to a win. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. This is...